Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome on this very foggy morning to the Mike Wills Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting Edition for August 12th, no, 13th, 2019. So I'm recording this in the car because uh, I fell asleep last night. And normally I like to record these a day ahead of time to give myself a little bit of sponge room. In case I fall asleep, which happened last night. I was like, well, this is a short one, so I'm just going to record this in my truck going to work this morning. And then I can get back on schedule with a much longer one uh, tonight. So I'm apologizing ahead of time for a nice long one. So we've talked about uh, the components of a radio. We've talked about how a radio works. Now let's talk about how to actually communicate on the radio. Um, And within this chapter, uh, chapter, uh, you can't find my notes fast enough, chapter six, we, um, we start talking about the actual use of it. So we've, in the past we talked about uh, bands. And there's, there's like a 60 or like an 80 meter, well, there's a 60 meter too, but uh, 40 meter, 20 meter. And then mostly where the tech plays in is a two meter and 70 centimeter. <clears throat> um, each of those are bands. And within there, and the FCC requires this, we have a band plan. So what the FCC, um, requires it because it's quote good practice <clears throat> so if we get to the HF bands a lot of them are pretty simple they are primarily um, a section that is dedicated to data and CW and a section that's dedicated to voice so those band plans are pretty easy to work in because it's pretty flexible ultimately but when you start talking about two meter and 70 centimeter, now you start talking about a lot more stuff going on. So, <clears throat> and I'll have links to all this in the show notes, so please do go look at it. It gets very cumbersome really fast. But, um, so within those ranges, A, you have repeaters. So you need to have an allotment for all these repeaters out out in the world so you don't conflict with real transmissions happening. I shouldn't say real, but other transmissions through the repeaters. You have uh, satellites. So we're talking amateur satellites. Um, There's lots of them up in the air. There's also the ISS. There's... Um, I think that's the bulk of them. I, I can't remember. Boom, moon beam is in there. <clears throat> yes, you can bounce the signal off the moon. Um, so you have some of that traffic. Plus, you have the simplex, which is just radio to radio. There's no like repeater system in there. Uh, you still need some CW area because some people can do CW in there along with some data, and I, I don't remember what all else is in these bands, but <clears throat> they're extremely busy compared to, uh, like, HF. Um, again, I'll link to the ARRL's website on those bands. <clears throat> For you Canadians, you're going to have a different system and probably a little bit different band plan. My guess is it mostly aligns, but I do know... In the 70 centimeter range, there is an area, and I don't know if it's because 
in Canada, you're not allowed to use those that, that frequency range or exactly what it is. But I know we have an area south of, of that goes into the U.S. There, I've kind of found the the, uh, the border, and you cannot use these certain frequencies above that area. <clears throat> so I have not investigated exactly why. But I do know that's a thing that is out there. Um, it is, we should note that band plans are not regulations. <clears throat> if you want to be uh, crazy, you could go out and just use any old frequency you wanted. You're going to get frowned upon, and you might get shunned by the community, but you could. Um, it's really a gentleman's agreement, if you want to call it that, or whatever whatever the uh, non-gender specific uh, languages for that these days <clears throat> but it's really a self-regulated system and thus highly recommended but not required um, I think that's all the all everything on my notes here <clears throat> So I just wanted to do, like I said, this is a quick one. Um, band plans are relatively simple once you start, you know, really looking at them. Um, they do provide a really nice graphic. It does not show the breakdown of all the individual bands within 70 centimeter and two meter, but it's still great, uh, especially for HF ranges, to make sure you're within a your. Uh, licensed bands and B that you are um, <clears throat> within your uh, the uh, band plans because uh, HF and those do document that most other like I said the others do not for whatever reason maybe because it's so complicated they'd rather keep it simple on that form so I am going to wrap it up here and uh, I'll get the next one uh, recorded, which I can't remember what is off the top of my head. I think it's actually communicating on the radio and the processes that are required for that. And some of the, um, what do you call it, best practices, I guess, <clears throat> on how that works. So I will uh, wrap it up here, and I will talk to everyone tomorrow. So this, you can find me on my website at mikewills.me, and on there you will obviously find uh, my show notes for today. Uh, in fact, most of them go into a wiki so that um, you know I could edit it easily, or I could use it for other reference materials on the road. I've been trying that. I kind of like it because then I can kind of prepare my notes, not publish it until it's ready. <clears throat> and it's kind of all built in. I, you know, I don't know. Um, it's been working for me so far. I just linked to the document then. Um, but I always, like I said, show notes on my website, mikewills.me. I remember the last thing I was going to talk about. Sorry. Um, when in talking t about the the bands a technician's license for. Uh, David Kastler, KE0OG, has a, has been doing many different video series. Uh, he has done one for each of the ARRL books. <clears throat> but then he also has blossomed beyond that and does like a, like a, I think he calls it Ask Dave series. I don't remember exactly. Um, yeah, I think it's Ask Dave series. And one of them recently covered the twenty or the two meter, two meter and seventy centimeter bands. And while he talked about some of that, he more specifically explained how the repeater ranges work. So, if you really want to know, want to understand it, uh, I will also link to his. A video on that <clears throat> and I'll talk more about his video series uh, when I get back I'm gonna hopefully have time to do a uh, how to get your license how to study your license some of the tricks I learned 
to, to get my license as uh, we get towards the end here. So I'll cover that at that point. So I will call her here and I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. So 73 from WX0MIK. The frequency is now clear. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK. 73.